Hi guys, and welcome back to our 521 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So in this episode, we have three games to get through, starting our return to the Premier League. Of course, we're going away from home, we're going to Old Trafford. What a way to start our return to the Premier League. So we go to Man United, and then we're going to play the game against City, who have just beaten in the Community Shield in the last episode by three goals to one, which was a brilliant performance, seeing a lot of the new players as well. Then we're going to end the episode with a quick sim game against Crystal Palace. But I do also need to put on record that... I, um, I'm recording this directly after the last episode, so the last episode that you will have seen, as I'm speaking right now, it hasn't even been uploaded yet, I have had to do it because of time constraints, um, so I haven't managed to see any comments that you guys have done on the last episode, so what I am going to do is, of course, we have 5.69 million left in the bank, but I'm not going to touch it at all, unless something ridiculous comes up, I'm not going to touch it at all, and because then I'm going to be able to catch up with comments later on from the last episode and this one. Uh, to try and see what we can do with the remainder of our money, if that makes sense. But we have just received an offer for the right back Emmanuel. We really needed to get him off the books. Just over three million we could be getting for him if it is accepted. But we are going to go straight into it. We're playing Manchester United. It looks like we are playing on the Sunday. So I think another few teams, or some of the teams, of course, will have started on the Saturday. Yeah, a few teams have already started. Leeds, top of the league, of course, only one game has been played. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really mean much. But we are going to go to Old Trafford. So this is the team I'm going to go with almost unchanged from the team that beat Manchester City in the last episode but there has been just the one change. Jones is going to start over the new man João Pedro. I think Jones deserves to start this game. Of course it's going to be a really good battle to see who comes out on top there. We've still got Sims in there of course, Jones as well and and uh, João Pedro as I say. So we've got Van der Boat, Hume, Adrobayo, Mavropanos, Lamptey, Nelson, Carvalho, Gravenberch, Madueke, French and Jones. Let's get into it. And here we are, it's finally here. Our long awaited return to the Premier League and what an arena to do it in. Old Trafford taking on the massive Colossus that is Manchester United and there is the big Colossus forehead in Harry Maguire leading out. The Red Devils. I can't say anything, my forehead's massive and all, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that is Bruno Fernandes, starting as well for Manchester United. A really, really top quality player. Can we get a decent result here, or more importantly, a decent performance? Well in, great challenge there by Gravenberch. It is Jones, trying to flick it in towards Frenchy. Can he turn the big blockhead, tries to play it for Madweke. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Big touch. Hold it up. Cut inside, now get the ball in if he can, towards Frenchy, and it's nearly found Ricky J. Jones. And it looks like they're going to get this one away. Well in again, Mavropanos this time. Is it going to be a counter-attack of dreams? Madweke driving inside, help him out. Tries to play, Ricky J. Jones, can he get in front of Maguire? He can't, Maguire too strong, but on. French nearly gets there, we just look so dangerous on the counter-attack. We've got to the team we're playing. That's going to be so key for us this season. Here is Witzel now onto Fernandez. Moreno up top for Manchester United, out wide, Guerrero, such quality players here, it is Luke Shaw now bringing it down towards the byline, back inside to Guerrero, oh they're trying to work a bit of space there and it's saved by Van der Voort at the near post, Fernandez now, good chance, get over to him and it's another save at the near post, oh he's mocking his hair Fernandez, his dribbling skills are just ridiculous, Guerrero trying to cut inside, he's probably going to try and find someone on the edge here, now he's gone back out to Luke Shaw, they're really playing with us. Get over to him, go over to him. No, don't let him turn. And they've finished it off. We've literally haven't been able to get it out of our own box for the last 10 minutes. They just hold on to the ball so well. They shield it so well, it makes it impossible to get it off him. And they've punished us. And it's Gerard Moreno with his first goal this season. Come on, lads. Well played. One more time onto Frenchy now. Is this going to be another counter-attack of dreams? Come on, Ricky J. Jones. Make a move, man. Drill it across goal if he can, he has done! And it's just Miss Jones in the middle. Oh, we've been so unlucky in this game, I'm telling you. Go over to him, go over to him, go over to him. Well, then that'll do. Come on, let's break. He does find Nelson now, driving forward. Come on, Frenchy, you stood still, man. Keep going, keep going. Come on, Frenchy, get there first, man, get there first. He has got there, still Frenchy. He tries to dig one out. He should have gone down. Not that the ref would have given it, but it's just so unlucky. These tiny things that were going for us are now going against us in this episode. Flick it on one more time. He has done. It is Nelson. Can he drive it across goal? He just tried to. And they've got it clear this time. And there goes half-time whistle. And then with all fairness, we have played well. We've more than competed. They've just had that little bit more quality, as you'd expect. We just need to be a bit better around the box. Ten minutes gone in this second half and very little happening. 
other than me just screaming and swearing at my screen, which I'm probably not going to put in the final cut because passage is going to the completely wrong player. And uh, I think that might be another example of it. There we go. <laughs> just been terrible. Bryce, Dembele and Joao Pedro are all going to come on for the final half an hour. We need something different. We're going so stale up top. But United do have a free kick here. Fernandez is probably going to send this one deep. Send it to around the edge of the box. Get there first. It has been flicked on and again. And luckily it goes wide. So first chance this second half. It's been really, really poor. Send him, send him, send him. There we go. Please be onside, Madurake. It is Madurake. Can he cut inside? Yes, he can. Still Madurake. Still Madurake. Help me out. Put it in the middle. Can he finish it? He's hit it. Oh, and it's gone wide. What a chance that was for Graven Birch to be the hero. And it's fizzed just, just wide of goal. Try and get it in. Get that shows. That shows. Please. Come on. Oh, they're taking the piss. It's Guerrero now on the edge of the box for Manchester United. Plays it in and that's going to be it. 2-0, and I have to say that is undeserved. Absolutely undeserved. They've had two real chances throughout the game. Of course, early doors when they pinned us back in the box for about 10 minutes. But other than that, they've only had two real chances. And they've put them away, and that's the quality you get in the Premier League. And it's something we're going to have to get used to very, very quickly. Otherwise, we're going to be in a lot of trouble this season. And it's Rashford now, driving down this right side. Go on, Adarabayo. Wambasaka back to Rashford. Oh, don't start this crap. We had enough of it in the championship. Wambasaka back to Rashford. Again, it's Witzel now in the centre. Players have so much room to do what they want. It's going to be three. It's a cracking save, to be fair. But the marking is horrendous. If you look off the ball, they leave every player with at least a good two or three yards to do what they want with to receive the ball. It's absolutely shocking. So we're going to have to work on. Guerrero whips the corner in. Heads towards... Maguire, but it's going to go out for a goal kick. Go on, send him, send him, send him, send him. Go on, Dembele, get there first. Well in, Dembele. Keep going, son. Go on, get it across, get it across. Quickly, quickly, surely finish. Why did he take a touch? Oh, guys, I'm getting absolutely furious. Nothing has gone forwards in this game at all. I don't mind losing. In fact, I expected to lose this game. Or maybe scrape a draw. But that there, any other game, any other day... And that would have been just knocked in easily by Frenchy. But instead, he's took a touch for no reason. That's a shocking pass. And they're going to get away with it. And there we go. Right, in all fairness. Calm down, Joel. It was always going to come. First game of the season. It's a shame that we've lost it. But it is a reality check of how difficult this league is going to be. I don't expect to be right up there or thereabouts this season. It'd be nice to, of course, survive, first and foremost. But maybe push for a mid-table place. That would be really, really good. And, of course, do well in cup competitions. But we need to be a hell of a lot better than that. Because in front of goal, we were absolutely shocking. And after that game, we receive a strange loan offer for Linda Gooch. I mean, if it was a transfer offer, I may have considered it. But that's very, very strange. Not going to be entertaining that one. But there is confirmation that Emmanuel has been sold 3.15 million. And we're only getting 2.2 million put onto our transfer budget. Which is quite annoying. Usually, you get a little bit more than that. But either way... We're heading towards the game against Manchester City. Let's hope we get some more offers in for players as well. Um, but we'll have a look at the transfer budget now. 7.86 million. So we could squeeze another player in if we really wanted to. We could maybe go for Bellingham, which I mentioned in the last episode. But that really would just kind of really overdo it in midfield, I would think. But of course, I'll be looking at your comments after this episode anyway from the previous episode. And you can, of course, leave your comments on this episode as well. But now we do take on Manchester City, who we have just beaten as recently as last episode in the Community Shield, but I'm sure they might have a little bit of a different team this time around. And my God, they do. They have all the big guns starting today. Sterling, Aguero, Mares, Foden, De Bruyne, Rodri, Paulista, Koulibaly, Samido. Oh, they've got such a class team. Such a class team. But I am going to rejig our side around. And this is the starting eleven that I am going to use. So we have Van der Voort, Hume, Adrobio, Willis, because uh, Mavropanos is a little bit unfit. Not hugely, but just a little bit. Lampsy on the right as well. Dembele will start today. Carvalho and Bryce in the middle because Groven Birch doesn't have 100% fitness either. Madweki on the right with Jao Pedro starting alongside Frenchy. Up top, let's get into it. And here we are. The stage of light finally welcomes Premier League football back to their turf as we welcome Manchester City, who I believe won the Premier League last season, I think, if I remember correctly anyway, when we did check it uh, through the season review. Kevin De Bruyne leads the line with the captain's armband. Can we cause an upset just like we did in the Charity Shield? But now it just makes me realise that it might not have been quite the feat I did originally think, given that they did use a second string squad in the Community Shield. But come on, lads, let's give them a good game. Adrobao now, bringing it forward for us. 
Knocks it into Jao Pedro. Big touch there. One more time towards Jao Pedro. Can he get away from his man? Yes, he can. Go and get it him. Cut inside if he can. Can he get a shot on? He's trying to. It's a bit of a dive in there by Rodri. And Pedro did go down dramatically. Could have been given. You never know, but it hasn't been, obviously. Now, Sterling, after a bit of a clash between De Bruyne and Lamptey, they managed to carry on. I think that should have been given as a foul, really. But Aguero does have it for City. Look at the space he's got here. De Bruyne... Sterling, I said they were going to give a foul for that one, I've just blatantly kicked the ball. Sterling gets the ball in, straight to Foden, knocked on, this is like bloody Brazilian football this. Flick it on, go on, win the header, win the header. He's never going to win that one, is he? But he does win that one, I know it is. Frenchy driving forward, still Frenchy in his stronger left foot. Can he go for it himself? He just tried to. It's a very, very good effort and it's a good save as well by Edison. Nice, done now it is. Brycey, show him what you're made of, son. And again, that's it, lovely stuff. Could it across goal if you can? Can we get there? We can! It's an absolute beauty! It's an absolute rocket from Frenchy. Get in! What a cross! And what a finish that is! I wanted him to drill it hard and low across goal, but Jesus Christ, that was inch perfect. It was a phenomenal finish into that top right hand corner on the volley by Frenchy. Get in! This is more like it. Back at this stage of my life, back doing what we do best. Smashing it. <laughs> Aguero. Knocks it in for De Bruyne. Back into Foden. It has been struck. It's been deflected, I think. No, it's not, actually. It's gone straight out for a goal kick. Get over to him. Great challenge there by Willis. Um, I don't know what that was, but we've managed to keep it in. Go on, help him out, help him out, help him out. Oh, we're going to get sent back here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Back to the keeper. It'll have to do. Spread it out wide. He's hit it straight at his man. Oh, my God. That is typical. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. What bollocks was that? Oh. Just as things start to look up, EA present themselves in the most shittish of manners. Why didn't he just spread the play normally? Why did he have to drill it perfectly, inch perfectly to their man? What a shite way to concede. And it's 1-1. Help him out. Here's Dembele. Cuts inside to Frenchy. Good football, this. Find Frenchy again. He has done. Can he get it past his man? He can't, but Carvalho does pick up the pieces. Tries to find Jao Pedro. He's going to be offside. Or is he going to be offside? I don't think he is. And Jao Pedro has just smashed it into the top corner. I was just about to lose my shit again. Because Pedro, it looked like he just went offside for a split second for what seemed to be no reason. But his comeback on picked up the ball. And absolutely buried it. Look there, I thought it was definitely offside. Oh, that is a gorgeous finish. His first goal for the club. Get in. And there goes half-time whistle. And I think I've blown a blood vessel or seven in the side of my head. Because this has been such a frustrating game. But I just feel like because, of course, the, uh, the difficulty is a lot higher now. It makes the games a lot more intense. And that goal that we conceded was just ridiculous. So I'm so glad that we managed to come back straight away and put ourselves back in the lead. Now here is Aguero, one of the keeper going to him. Oh no, it's a good chance. Please no, it's took the piss. That is so unrealistic. Why would he do it like a keeper up there and then just smash it in? Oh my God, I can't believe this. I really can't. Oh, it's a very good goal, don't get me wrong. It really is a slice as open, easy as anything. I thought Aguero was going to do that, but look, why does he chip it up like that? It's just ridiculous. It just looks stupid. I'm so sour right now. So sour. Here's Bryce now. This is where he loves to be. He needs support, though. Move. There we go. One more time, if you can. On to Carvalho this time. Can he find his man? He can. Turn him. Turn him. Ref, come on. Anything. Give us some, give us some luck, please. Sterling now. Coming down the left-hand side. Plenty of pace. Lampsy keeping up with him. Well played. That'll do. Reese Nelson and Ricky J. Jones are both going to come on. Uh, Joao Pedro, the goal scorer, is going to come off because other than the goal, he hasn't really done much at all. Dembele's been really, really poor in this game. So Reese Nelson is going to get the nod and come on for the final 25 minutes. Here is City. Here is Kevin De Bruyne just taking the piss. But that is well played there by Lampsy. Get it away. Please just get it away. Please. Just hoof it. You don't need to dink it there. Come on, as you can tell, I'm getting really frustrated now. But here's Madweke. Come on, you're faster than him. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I can see. Ricky J. Jones making some movement in the middle. Can he get across to him? No, he can't. It's a poor cross. And they're going to deal with this one, I think. Torres now. Ferrian Torres, who's just come on. Does his man, Denver. Look at the space now that's opening up. Will in Denver. And again, anyone. Why didn't William Carvalho go for that? 
But either way, the shot's gone wide. Go over to him, go over to him. Oh, shit, here we go. The breaking forward. This is going to be it. Well then, great challenge. Oh, guys, I've lost my head. I've well and truly lost my head here. De Bruyne whips it in towards the near post, get it away. Of course, it falls directly for Manchester City. Foden now on the edge. Get over to him. Please make a challenge, someone. You're just running near him. Get it away, get it away. Well played. Well played. That'll do. And now here's Mendes now, who played in the game in the Community Shield. Get, please, no foul, no foul, no foul. Well played. Can we break? Are we going to give it straight to them? No, we're not. It's a decent ball, actually. Come on, Madraka. You're faster than Rod Rodri, man. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. All the way, son. Keep going. All the way. All the way. Still, Madraka. Shoot, man. Please, just shoot. Oh, I can't believe that. I pressed the shoot like two touches before we'd even tried. Oh, and they go to full-time whistle. Apologies for losing my head. But that was so, so frustrating. I think before the game, if you give me a 2 all draw, I probably would have taken it. But just so many little, you know, normal FIFA, typical things that go on. It happened so many times in this game, particularly the goal in the first half. That is frustrating. But we do get our first point on the board since being back in the Premier League. But now we have just received a 9.5 million offer for Sir Ricky Dembele which I'm genuinely considering. I know, don't get me wrong, he's been brilliant for us, he really has. But we have Nelson, we also have Gooch, who's only one rating less than Dembele. And of course, on the other side, we have Madweke and we have Patrick Roberts now as well. Could we cash in on Dembele? Because he is pretty much, you know, not surplus to requirements because we have been using him over Gooch, but we could just use Gooch instead of Dembele and use Gooch as the backup uh, left winger. And then, of course, come the next episode, I'll be able to see your guys' comments of what you want me to do. And that's a hell of a lot of money for us to bring another really, really good player in. So I might at least consider it and see how much we can get. We can get between 9 and 13.2 million. So I think I am going to go for it, you know. I'm going to go for it. Okay, so we have settled on 10.6 million for Sir Ricky Dembele. I did try 13, then 12, 11.5, and there have been none of it. They were trying to stick it like 9 million, which I wanted more for. So 10.6 million we have accepted for Sir Ricky Dembele. I think... It's probably the right move. It would have been either Gooch or Dembele who got the chop. It's nice to keep hold of someone like Gooch who was here from the beginning as well. And I probably should be using him a little bit more. Dembele, he has been phenomenal for us. He really has. But I think we need that extra quality elsewhere. I'm not too sure where exactly. But again, that's why you guys are here. But we are going to end the episode now with a quick sim game against Crystal Palace. And I am going to be using the second string squad. So I'm probably shooting myself in the foot here. But we need to give everyone a fair shot and some game times. So we may lose but we shall see can we end the episode on a high or have i just really kicked myself in the balls yes i have three two oh this is not the welcome i wanted back to the premier league jones gets himself a double but crystal palace were just too good for us and after that game we do receive confirmation that dembele has been sold and eight million will be allocated to our transfer budget so before we do leave the episode let's have a look at our transfer budget 15.7 million and 61k in the wage budget. So we have a really, really decent sum there to bring in another bit of quality. And it could be a really, really good player or two. Or just the one big player. Of course, I'm going to go back and have a look at your guys' comments uh, to put towards the next episode. And of course, uh, this episode's comments as well. But that will be it, guys. I'll have a quick look at the league table. Which, of course, doesn't mean a massive amount given only three games have been played. But we have Man United at the top. Chelsea, Aston Villa, Liverpool and... Crystal Palace as well. Now, where are we? We are in 17th, just one place above 18th placed Brighton with Watford and West Brom, bottom of the league. So it isn't quite the romantic return to the Premier League that we envisioned. A good point in the end, I guess, in hindsight against Manchester City, but a really frustrating one nevertheless. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jabbing.